Hey everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be using the Monport 40 watt CO2 laser machine to work with this new material that I ran across. This is EVA foam. It's been out for quite some time, but I just first discovered it. It doesn't cost a whole lot, and it cuts and engraves very easily. Join me as I do a couple quick projects to show you just how fun and versatile this material is. Welcome back. Before we jump into this video, a quick word about safety, and that is to read and understand the manual that comes with your machine to make sure that it's being operated safely. In just a minute, I'm gonna jump into the machine. I'm going to show you some of the upgrades that I have on my machine, just so that you understand why I'm using some of the settings that I'm using when we jump into Lightburn. Before I do that though, there are a couple of required things to make this project a success. The first one being is when we're cutting through this EVA foam, we don't wanna have it resting directly on a surface. We actually wanna have it elevated up a little bit. Mainly we just need some type of a little air pocket underneath this foam. And the second is because we are cutting through that EVA foam, we do need to have an air assist kit for this. The EVA foam does have a very low melting temperature and it can have a tendency to flame up. So to make sure that we don't have any risk of that, an air assist kit is a great way to avoid any of those issues. Make sure that the ventilation system, the exhaust system on your machine is working properly. This is my Monport 40 watt CO2 laser machine. Located underneath this control panel is the factory installed Lightburn controller board. This is the main reason why I bought this particular model of the Monport laser machine. Taking a quick look underneath the lid here, we'll see this is the air assist kit that I have installed. I also changed out the focusing lens from the 12 millimeter diameter to the 18 millimeter diameter. Closing the lid, I'm gonna point behind the machine even though it's not pictured is the air assist pump that I have running up to the air assist nozzle. And lastly, I have an inline exhaust fan to make sure that any of the smoker fumes that are in the work area are quickly evacuated outside of the work area. Inside the light burn software, I'm gonna start out with something really functional that is like insanely quick to make. And I'm going to start out by selecting the circle tool and I'm gonna press and hold shift and I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm gonna reselect the mouse cursor and I'm gonna check the, uh, the dimensions up here. And I do wanna make this three inches exactly. And there we go. Uh, next thing I wanna show you is I'm using the start from as the current position. I have the job origin in this upper left-hand corner indicated by this little green square. Now I already have some settings that I found that work really good with this foam and I put those on layer 21 and let's take a look at that. We're going to see that I have the speed at 40 millimeters per second with a maximum power of 18% and I'm doing uh, two passes on this. And I'll show you a quick close up of the foam and I found if I try doing this in just one pass, I like really charred the edge of this EVA foam. And then actually when it was cutting through it, it left this huge wide path. But I found if I reduced the power level and did multiple passes, that that width of that cut line went down quite a bit. And then that cut edge didn't have any charring or discoloration and it did not have any char that built up on it. So that was what I was looking for. I would recommend as you're working with this material of doing a minimum of two passes when cutting. Three passes might even work out a little bit better. I already have some standoffs in place. This is what I was talking about. If you're using a larger machine and you have honeycomb, that is actually the preferred thing. But on this 40 watt desktop machine, uh, this is what I end up doing and it works quite well for me. And I've already found that these little spacers that I'm using in here 
puts this EVA material at the correct focal distance to the laser head. Everything's all set and I'm ready to hit the start button. And as easy as that, we have our first little mini project done. Let's get a close up look on the end there. There's no charring left on there. And it's the same red color as the rest of the EVA foam. With this circle complete, I thought that maybe I told you first, but I was making a coaster for glass. Now you can make a bazillion of these coasters from this EVA foam. They cut out so insanely quickly. They look really nice and it's very functional. Hey everyone, I really wanted to show this material being engraved to dress up this plain coaster. But when I started engraving it and I tried a bunch of different settings, this was one of the better looking ones. However, when I flip it to the other side, we'll see that I'm melting through in some spots. And when I start backing off the settings, I find that I get an inconsistent engraving across the face of the project. So rather than continue to dive down that rabbit hole, I'm going to stick with this video on just doing cutouts of some stuff. So join me in Lightburn as we move on to the next little mini project. Back in Lightburn, I've imported this outline shape of a dog. I found this SVG clip file from a website that I love to go to for all of my clip art, all of my photos. That website is called Pixabay. Uh, if you are making projects that you're selling, do check the licensing to make sure that you're following in accordance to that. If I scroll back a little bit and pan over, I also use the Lightburn software to write out the word dog. And I have all of the same settings as I did before doing the cutout of a speed of 40 millimeters per second with that power level of 18%. I've got everything all set and I'm ready to hit the start button. all complete and all of these shapes just about fall out. Here's a nice close up, all of that nice, perfect, crispy detail. And here's all of the nice letters. In fact, I think I'm going to go back into the Lightburn software and do an outline of all these letters and then glue that down to a different piece of foam. For the outline, I don't need the dog outline anymore, so I am going to delete that out. I'm going to select this and I'm gonna go over to the outline tool and let's do the outer shapes only and I can delete the original shape and I do wanna see a little bit thicker outline. Let me move this box out of the way. And I like something like that. And that looks good. I'm gonna cut a different color piece of foam, get that in machine, and I'll see you in just a second. That is a really large shape and it did not take a whole lot of time to cut that out. Here's another nice close up. All the edges are nice and clean. When we stand this up on edge, we'll see that there's no burning or charring coming off of that foam. These EVA foam cutouts, they're fast, they're easy, and you can really make some really neat stuff. I'm gonna finish off this little lettering of the word dog with some Gorilla Super Glue. I'll have a link to all the products that I'm using in the video down below. Feel free to bookmark those for later reference. Um, 
I did a couple of tests with different types of glue and I found this was the fastest, easiest glue to use. And to apply it, it's just as simple as what you would normally think, just a, a little drizzle of glue around the shape. I'm going to just place that down there. I've got a couple minutes to move that around to get the final placement. I'll get the O and lastly, of course, the G. I get that one in place. And now I can get these just into the final adjustment. For the video, I'm doing this pretty quickly, but when you're following along at home, I invite you to spend as much time as you like to get these all perfectly centered up. I'll put a heavy weight on top of that for just a few minutes. That glue does not take a whole lot of time to set. I think it sets in about two, three minutes. This EVA foam cut like butter underneath the Monport CO2 laser machine. Even shapes that had a little bit of detail to it had absolutely no problems cutting out. And gluing this EVA foam to itself using that Gorilla Glue, that glue did an awesome job. These letters aren't going anywhere. Hey everyone, I had an absolute blast working with this EVA foam, cutting it out. One thing that kind of threw me for a loop is when I was trying to engrave it. Before I made this video, I did read that EVA foam can be very difficult to engrave and that's exactly what I saw while making this video. Off camera, I think that I'm going to work on some different techniques and methods to try and get a nice, clean, consistent engraving on this EVA foam. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave this video a like, consider subscribing to the channel or ringing that notification bell for the next time a video comes out. Doing any number of those things really helps me out. It helps the channel out and it's a great way to connect content like this with great viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.